Hey, 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 don't go. Don't. Oh. You bastard. Why did you tell me you have kids? I hate you. She. She's a normal type of friend. And you were kissing her already. Wait, is that how you go around kissing all your normal friends? Maya? Zara. Now listen to me carefully, the both of you. I have loved and cared for you unconditionally all your life. I have sacrificed 10 years of my life since your mother left. At some point, you would realize I'm a human being. I have blood flowing through my veins. And as a man, I will need a chance to find love again. The least you can do as my beautiful daughters is support me. Support your daddy. But you see, you just lied. You said she's a normal kind of friend. But obviously she, she means more than that to you. I guess he doesn't love us anymore. No, 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 Maya. Don't say that. How can you? I love you. I love you both. But it's true. You obviously prefer her to us. No. I mean, no matter what I do, no matter where I go, I will never ever put anyone above you. My love for you both will never diminish and you both know that. Tell that to the birds then. Maya! We are never going to accept her. Yes. <laughs> Let me dismantle it for you, okay? Mm. When you met him, I can remember the day you came back. You were so carried away, you know? You're talking about his charm, his charisma, his demeanor, his courage, you know? You were imagining how you'd walk down the aisle with him. But then, you forgot to ask the vital questions. You didn't ask anything. Whether he was married, whether he was single, whether he had kids or whether he was, you know, he had a relationship somewhere that I was not even aware of. You did not. Or did you? <laughs> I'm so sorry. Your, your night in, in shining armor is no more shining any. <laughs> okay. Okay. You see, the reason why you should be the one that is quite hysterical to yourself, you know. You should be humor out. You should be humor to yourself. Because this. <laughs> I'm so sorry, my love. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, baby girl. I'm so sorry, okay? <laughs> You're charming, man. <laughs> okay, I'm so sorry, my girl. I'm so sorry. I'm not trying to be emotionally insensitive right now, okay? I'm not. Please, please. <laughs> I'm so 
but <laughs> okay, sorry. Okay, sorry, that's not the plan. Oh baby girl. Have you both had anything to eat? <sighs> okay, I take it that you're not interested in what's in the kitchen, huh? So why don't you go get something from uh, the eatery across the road? Anything on the truck, I'm sure this will do. to go to work. Daddy loves you. Since he has decided to put his love interest above us, we are going to go on a hunger strike until he assures us that he cuts all ties with that strange woman. Sarah, look, I know that we are fighting a just cause, but I, I don't intend to starve to death while doing that too. Maya, that's the only way he will take us seriously. Ha, Jesus Christ. Okay, for how long is this hunger strike supposed to last? For as long as it takes. Sarah, I can't do that, so I will just faint. I can't hold on. Maya, come on. You have to do this with me. You have to stand firm on this, okay? Have you ever seen somebody who's hungry standing firm? I can't stand firm on an empty stomach. I need food. I want to eat. Maya, we can do this. You'll be fine, okay? I promise. The only way I'll be fine is if I eat. I want to eat. Maya. How is somebody who faint here while fighting with so something in the north of Since you girls don't want to come downstairs and eat, I decided to bring the food to you here myself. So please open the door so you can have some food. You know you can't shut me out forever. Anyway, I'll just leave the food here since you're not opening the door. I made pasta with barbecue chicken, just like you like it. I'm just going to leave it here by the door. Please try and eat something so your tummy doesn't hurt, okay? I love you both. He's right. My tummy aches. Look, I'm going to get that. Maya! What are you doing? I'm going to get the food. Look, we've not eaten anything tangible since morning. I don't intend to stay in mother dad on an empty stomach. Oh my god! What? Why are you looking at me like that? Me, I'm very hungry. 
We can stay, mother, dad. With good food in our tummy. Not on an empty stomach. You don't want to eat? Okay, no, I'll eat it alone. She's really nice, though. Take, Sarah. Oh, you're not interested. I'm not interested. You're I'll not keep interested. It. Yes, I will finish it. Yes, finish the food. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. Somebody died. Nobody died. Hey, hey nobody died. Hey, hey. You know what? <laughs> you know what? Don't worry. Since he didn't bring us anything, I'll go in there and bring us something to, you know, chop. Keep our mouth busy. He said a close mouth is a close destiny. You know now, if the mouth is not talking, it should be chopping. You understand? Don't worry. Smile. Smile now. Mm -hmm. There you have it. Come The children. They are fine. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Mm. They are so Kill her. Kill her. Okay, I'll take my leave now. Kill her. I... I'm so sorry. I know that I have wronged you. I, I know that I have offended you. Please, try and understand, okay? Yes, I was married. But she left. She left me and the kids as far as 10 years ago. She has not been in our lives since then. I was going to tell you, but... I was just finding the right time to, I just didn't know how to. Please, I'm sorry. You're sorry. You broke my heart. You lied to me, I thought I knew you. But then I realized you're just a familiar stranger. You are a liar from the pit of hell, that is who you are. Why didn't you just tell me the truth? Why did you just lie to me? What were you trying to achieve? Oh, now you can't say anything. You're speechless now, huh? Say something. You, you, you can't talk. Or are you trying to cook up something? You're trying to cook up a lie to me? I thought you were different. But I was wrong. You are worse. You know what? I want you to leave. Leave my house and never come back. Oh, you don't want to go? Oh, you want to stay here? Oh, no problem. Free, relax, enjoy your snacks, okay? Women! It's okay, it's okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, please, baby. I'm sorry. Sorry, okay. I know I wronged you, but this past few days have been like hell for me without you. And I'm willing to do anything to make things right. 
broke my heart. I know. That's why I want to fix us. And I'll do anything to make things right. Anything? Yes. Anything. Then I want you to formally introduce your kids to me. Okay. Sure. Thank you so much. Hello. It's a surprise. It's a surprise. Okay, it's a surprise. A surprise? Yes, a surprise. Um, just give me a second. Whose birthday is it? No, no, don't touch anything. Don't touch anything. Just leave it the way they are. Okay. sorting themselves out in their rooms. That's all. That's all. One second. Hi. 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 Welcome. Thank you. Just, just a minute. Hi. Oh, by the way, um, my best friend, Cassie. Hi. She's beautiful. I'm his daughter, Bella. Hey, Bella. <laughs> why, why don't you take a seat right now? Okay. to get my girls involved. Zara! Maya! Hurry down here, please. Hi, Maya. Hello. Hi. Yes, so... Uh... Dad? Yeah? What's going on here? Why is she in our house? Oh. You know, my daughters, they have um, their own way of advising me. <laughs> They're just like that. They just want me to do a formal introduction. They're very, very formal like that. So I'll, I'll just go ahead and do it right away. Um, Kayla, meet my girls. Sarah and Maya. Girls, meet Kayla. My, my girlfriend. Your girlfriend? Oh, um, yes. This with us. Yes, I, I know I ought to have discussed this with you, but that's what I'm trying to do now, right? And I love Kayla very much. I just need you to know that. We are never ever going to accept her. Yes. Oh, you know what? Just, just 
Sacrificing for the both of you, showing unending and unconditional love and care for you. But, you know, Daddy is a human being too. I need to love someone. I, I mean, I need to love a woman. You need to understand that I will never ever replace you with anyone else. Not in this life. No, Dad. It's just you. It's only you we want. Before Auntie Tracy died, it was just the both of you. But now that she's dead, it's just you. Dad, it's you we have. Mom is gone and now someone is here to take you away from us. I promise, no one will take me away from you. I promise. <laughs> okay, Dad, if after everything she comes into our lives, she might leave, just like mom did. That we don't want her, we don't like her. You girls have to let out to accept her. <laughs> Not possible, dear. But, Zara, I think she's a nice person. Exactly. She's just deceiving you guys. She's just pretending. But your dad likes her. I don't care if he likes her or not. You'll never know her true intention if you don't give her a chance. So just try. I don't care what her intentions are. I just don't like her and she will never have a place in this house. Zara. Period. You can't just be liberal minded for once in your life. It's so difficult. Yeah. Mafia boss, mafia boss. You go, you, you all my square boss. Okay. Let's see what they're gonna give me. He's on his way coming. Yeah. So, why didn't you wait for him to come here before coming to my house? What are you going to be doing here? I'll keep you girls company. Um, um, Miss K, you can just wait inside. He will be here as you said. So, yeah. Why are you letting a stranger into our house? She's not a stranger, Zara. She's dad's friend, so she's also our friend. Ma, please don't mind that. Just take care. Thank you. But you know, I'll bring your phone. Let me take you guys' picture. Oh! Okay. Ma, please don't mind her. Let's go inside. Um, just come back later. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Let me carry it for you. Are you sure? Yes. Thank you. Okay. Ah. I'm fine. So how far you and the kids? Hmm. Babes, we're fine now. I tell you, it's not easy. It's not easy being a mother at all. Ah. Maya, Maya is warming up to me. But you see that girl called Zara. I guess something else. I beg, gist me. What happened? You two like gist. Ah. <laughs> but babes, listen. <clears throat> you see, now today that food we are not serving. They pay me pass. Stop the suspense now. Go straight to the point. So, I decided to prepare jollof rice. With the help of Google, that was how that Zara girl walked in while I was preparing and caught me. The rest is history. <laughs> pay no attention to her. After all, your, your papa doesn't mind. He loves you just the way you are. Mm. 
Yes, it does, but you know now, kids are involved now. It's not easy to be a mother, it takes a lot. I have to start acting like a mother towards them. And it's not easy. What if he starts complaining? <laughs> you don't want to know, my dear. But, hmm, me and Maya ate the food. Oh, that girl is such a darling. She was just comforting all my efforts. Are you not shining amor? Does that one have a choice? <laughs> he ate it too. While eating, he was just squeezing face and then talking in parables. <laughs> I want to handle her myself. And if I can't handle her, I'll let him know. Voila. Shall be very, very careful. So, when will you be coming back? Uh, after Mother's Day, because I want to spend Mother's Day with them. I want them to have the feeling of having a mother around. I envious you. Shall remember me in your paradise and all the things you are doing? Hmm, not so. Eh, <laughs> Madam, don't finish all the food in the house. The house is already empty. If you shake this house and turn it upside down, nothing will fall at all the food. They are already inside my stomach. It's like you want to die young. Better don't touch my food. Else, me and you enter one trust. <laughs> Alright, thanks. Bye. that can't even cook. A survival skill that everyone should learn before they are 18. Sarah, give her time. She will learn. It's not like you're a good cook yourself. Uh -huh. Are we about the same age? And so what? You Come on, Sarah. Give her a chance to mommy you. <laughs> mommy me? I don't need anyone to mommy me, okay? I have my dad and he's more than enough for me. Sarah. Miss Key! Hey, Welcome! How are you, Bella? Hi. Zara, how are you? Oh, I bought you girls something special. Okay. Yes. For first, you have to tidy up this place before I give them to you. Don't worry, we'll do it, okay? Bella, okay. Alright, alright. Right, let me drop it in the kitchen, yeah? Keep it well, don't eat it though. <laughs> I like him, don't you? No, no, no. Listen. Listen. There's nothing wrong in liking someone. Just know when to draw the line. Don't be distracted. And do not engage in sexual activities. There's time for everything, okay? What's the problem? What's going on? What is wrong? What's eating you up? His name is Malik. He's my friend. I like him. Same way he likes me too. He will be celebrating his 17th birthday next week. And I would like to attend. But I know that daddy would never approve. Hmm. So have you tried talking to him? No, because I know he won't approve. Also, I'd like to get him something for his birthday, but I don't have much money and I don't know what to get him. Hmm. This is double problem. <sighs> don't even know why I'm telling you. Oh no, Zara! Sarah. No. No, no.
no, 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 I do not want to hear it. You can ask me for any other favor, but not this one. A man and a woman are not supposed to be friends just like that. Why? Well, for obvious reasons, of course. Which is? Oh, well, there are a lot of them, but for starters, I could start with sex. Oh. So that is why you're with me. No, 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 I, I, I didn't mean it like that. But what I'm trying to say is that she is just a child. She's 15. She's a teenager, not a child. Exactly my point. She is a teenager. That explains why she needs parental guidance. So she doesn't make a nuisance of herself. Guiding her doesn't mean you should cage or isolate her. I believe you taught them sex education. Sex what? No, mm -mm. Not, not, not me. I'm not going to do that. Why? Not teaching them sex education can only make them vulnerable. Well, well, no. I am not going to throw caution to the wind simply because I have to make my daughters happy. Caleb, it's obvious you have nothing to say about this. Oh, wow. Just wow. Something important with us. You're not saying anything. Um, yes, I, I, I actually summoned you guys here because I have something really, really important to, to discuss with the both of you. Uh, but I'll start with Zara. Hmm? So, yes, let's start with you, Zara. <laughs> yeah. So, so, Zara, tell me. Um, do, do, do you by any chance, uh, 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 do, do, you, do you, do you, do you, do you, do you, are you talking? Come on, just say it. Yeah, yeah, of course. Are you, are, are you talking to someone? To anyone? I'm not talking to anybody. I don't understand. Um, what I'm trying to say is, are you talking to someone in school? In the church? In the neighborhood? That is not a girl. Oh, Dad. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> that you're really very, very, very funny. Is this what you were struggling with? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh... Actually, my dear sister, Zara, has a boyfriend. What? Who was your boyfriend? And his name is Malik. Yes, <laughs> he's very handsome. And they've been crushing on themselves for like... Since you were in junior class. Yes. Zara. Yes. That's just it about him. Like, that's what I know. She might know more. And me too. This is guy in my class. I really like him though. And I think he likes me too. <sighs> No, no, not you, Maya. Uh, <clears throat> I'm just trying to say the truth. Don't stop. Continue. Give it just tell me. Okay, I can continue, right? Yes, <laughs> yes so um, he loves playing baseball. Mm -hmm. And what else? What else? What else? He's really cute. <laughs> and he helps me do my assignments, my classwork, copy my notes. Yes. And guess what? What? Some girls in my class really like him. <laughs> <laughs> so much for your intervention. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. Come. Come here. Come sit down. I am 
always here for you, okay? And the most important thing is that I was able to convince your dad to change his mindset. Hmm? So feel free to talk to him about any of your male friends. That will save you from being deceived by the wrong guys, okay? okay. And always have it at the back of your mind that your dad is your first boyfriend, okay? Okay? Okay. <laughs> so, about the birthday party, hmm, what gifts do you have in mind? To be honest, I have nothing. I nothing. don't know. Nothing at all? No. Um, okay. Don't worry. Don't worry about it, huh? I'll think about something later. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, God. <laughs> Just that you need to take him your socks. Hmm? <laughs> Come give me a hug. Oh, you look beautiful, darling. I got what you <laughs> Well, why didn't you wrap it? I don't know. I just thought it looked better that way. <laughs> don't just wrap it. It's a gift.
You know, the thought of her calling herself a mother gets me so pissed. Like, I'm so angry right now. Hmm. As far as we're concerned, our mother died 10 years ago. Yes. Mm -hmm. In fact, I've not even seen her before. I don't want to see her. Acting like a child, but now I'm all grown up. Shouldn't have left, you know. Can you imagine that woman? Come into my office this morning to create a scene. After gallivanting all over town for 10 years, she feels she can just appear from nowhere and have claims to the children? <laughs> no. Not under my watch. I will never let this happen. I will fight her with the last drop of my blood if that's the last thing I'll do on this earth. See, what, what that woman did was very, very unthinkable. Exactly. I went through hell when she left. I lost myself. There was a vacuum in my heart because she broke my heart. And now that I finally found happiness, she feels she can just snatch it away again. No, I won't let her win this time. I promise. Bro, did you file for a divorce then? Yes, I did. I filed for a divorce. The process was ongoing, but I think I need to speed things up. You need to act fast. And when I say fast, I mean now. You don't have time. You're right. I'll call my lawyer now. So, how are you doing? I'm fine, and you? I'm good. I've really missed you. Oh, I miss you too. Hey, I love you. And nothing can change that. I love you too. <laughs> Maya, I'm here to see you girls. Where's your sister? Maya, who's at the door? An unwanted guest. Unwanted guest? Zara, how are you? You! What in God's name are you doing here? I'm just here to see you girls. Let me in. Let's, let's have a talk. Well, we don't want you in and... Our dad warned us against strangers. Mm -hmm. So bounce. Yes. Girls, I'm still your mother. Your whose mother? You've never been my mother. I've not even seen my mother before, so I don't know what she's talking about. Sarah, I, I put God to the dance. Girls, come on, I just elite. Girls! I don't want to ever see her face ever again. She's not worthy to be called a mother. Come on, Zara. You can't deny the fact that she gave birth to you. If your mother abandoned you for 10 good years, you wouldn't be saying this. Nobody is above mistakes. My dear, her own was not a mistake. It was intentional. She just chose to abandon us. To err is human. Mm, and to forgive is divine. We know that part of the Bible. But that's not applicable to a woman who abandoned her family for 10 years. Yes. I can do anything to see my mom again. Ever since she died, it's been hard for dad and I to move on. Me. Are you trailing me? Maybe I am. I, 
I found out that you're the closest person to Gunaya, so I had to find you. Desperate times calls for desperate measures. Please. Oh, I need just, you. No, 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 come on, man. Stand up. Don't do that. I have wronged Ugo Naya and the kids terribly. And I am so sorry. Please, I want you to speak to him for me. Let, let him know how sorry I am. I love my family and I can't imagine life without them. But you've lived comfortably for 10 years without them. What changed? That was due to circumstances beyond my control. What circumstance? Hmm? No, tell me, because I need to know. Because for me to intercede on your behalf, I need to have details of what really transpired between you and Ugona. Listen, um, I grew up having all the fine things in life, and when I met Ugonaya, he was doing really well. He was living in a duplex, he had three exotic cars, you know, we were comfortable, so... We got married without even wasting time. And when I had Chizaram, things were still rosy, but everything changed when I took in for Maya. He lost his businesses, sold his three cars, and I mean, we couldn't even afford to pay rent in the duplex, so we had to move to a face me, I face you. That was the most miserable condition for any human being to live in. Imagine a lactating mother in her fragile state having to share one toilet and one bedroom with over 20 tenants. We couldn't even afford to feed once in a day. Ugonaya was a sinking ship and it was unreasonable for me to sink with him. In your own words, you said he was a sinking ship. Okay, fine, he was. So what about your own daughters? I heard Maya was barely three months old when you left and you never came back. It's not as if I'm trying to condemn you, but... Thank you very much, because that would be the worst thing to do to somebody in my condition right now. See, I, I just want my family back. Please, just help me. Please. Madam, what you're asking, it's very, very difficult. Because I don't think Ugona would just want you in his life back just like that. I'm not expecting him to. But let him just let me be a mother to them. Just all. But you are their mother. That's not what they were told. So, what, what, what do you want? Okay, you know what? Just tell Lugo now to let me be their mother for a week. Just one week, no more than a week. Please. But now. No, this is not acceptable, okay? This is unacceptable. I can't take this. She can't step a foot in my house. I will not allow that. Anyway, Tango has confirmed everything that I told you. Oh, God, now, this is not about you and Kemakola coming back together as man and wife. This is about your children. Besides, there's no moral justification for a woman to be denied being the mother of her own children. Are you serious right now? I mean, did you just say that to me? Bro, she's still the mother of those children, no matter what. Think about it. spending a week here with us. A week? Why? We don't need her here. Hey, hey. Be nice. She is still your biological mother. Really?
Come in. You, you can come in. Miss Kay! Hi. What the hell? Miss Kay! Hey, hey. Welcome. Welcome. Hi, baby. Hi. How are you doing? I think I've got to see you guys. Oh, thank you, Ma. Thank you. Well, as for her, Dad said she'll be staying for just a week, so don't worry about her. Hmm? Tell me she's in your house. Kayla, I was going to call you, okay? I was going to call you. She just arrived a few minutes ago, I swear. Don't you dare. Kayla. Don't, 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 don't touch me. You both deserve each other. Kayla, Kayla, don't, don't, don't go. Kayla. Kayla. Zara, hand over that plate of food to your mother and go dish yourself another one. No, no, it's fine. I'll, I'll find my way. You see? She said she's fine. No! I believe I trained you better. But Dad, she said... Shh. I don't want to hear it. I was foolish, but now I know better. Acting like a child, but now I'm all grown Shouldn't have left, you know. Shouldn't have walked away. I've missed That's a word. Ah, where? Like, it's in the dictionary. You can check it, you know. This is a word. Ah, I forgot to check it. Okay. You're going to give me money for the word. Yes, I got it. <laughs> it's a word. So let's see how many I got. Three, four, Okay, wait, this is three. First one.
phone has been ringing for a while now. Why aren't you picking his calls? You know he will not give up. And he's never dies his spirit. He's eternal. Of course, that's what you love about him. Yes. I'm not in love with him. What are you talking about? Oh, please. You love him. It's written all over you. Come on. Come on. You know what I'm saying is true. Take, take biscuit now. Yeah. Chop na. You don't want to tell nobody. Okay, okay, fine. I'll eat alone and die alone. No problem. But you know what? I have an idea. I also want to be their mother for one week. Take Miss Kay's bag upstairs, okay? Up you go, both of you. Up you go. Up you go. Oh, yes, yes, I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> oh. Oh. Why don't we go inside? There's something I want to show you. I was foolish, but now I know better. I am sorry. What did you know? They're so short. program to watch and I wouldn't want to miss it. I don't understand. Didn't you meet us here? If you so badly want to watch your program, go to your house now. That's a better option. I mean, you don't have TV there. Is this your house? You to go to your own house. I don't blame you. I blame Ugona for letting you stay here in the first place. And it is only desperados like you that will shamelessly come into another woman's house to fight. 
I see you strutting around like, you know, you own the house. Is that what you think? If you think you own the house, breaking news, darling. It is not yours. So if I were you, I would pack my things and go back to where I'm coming from. You nitwit. How dare you call me this? You disgrace of a woman. And if I do... What is going on here? I said, what is going on here? She asked this tribe standing in front of me. You had the infantry to disrespect Kayla in my own house? How dare you? I just want Oh, you shut up your filthy mouth. It just appeared for God knows where. From thin air, you think you can inconvenience Kayla and the kids in this house? Now, let me warn you. If you ever disrespect Kayla again in this house, you will see a side of me that you've never, ever seen before. Baby girl, are you okay? Kayla. What's the problem? Why are you sitting here all by yourself? I tried opening the door, but it wasn't opening. What about the kids? They went to the cinema to see a movie with Bella. I see. Let me have the key, then. let me try. Oh, 
what's going on? It's not opening. I don't know. I don't know. And Kim, where are you? All right, please come down and open the door immediately. I'm outside. Oh, welcome. Okay, what the hell has come over you, huh? What gives you the authority, Kim, to lock Kayla out of my own house? Me. Lock her out. I didn't know she was back now. I am done tolerating your excesses in these few days that you're staying here. You're beginning to cross the line and bite off more than you can chew. Go, Naya. I am the mother of your children. You should believe me. Oh, you shut your mouth before I shut it for you. Listen, this is the second time you are disrespecting Kayla and crossing the line. The next time this happens, I promise you I will trash you like garbage. Anyway, I just have a few days to leave my home and my life. Kayla, I'm so sorry. This is all my fault, I'm sorry. Please don't take it to heart, okay? Let's, let's go inside. Mm -hmm. Kayla. Kayla. I made this and I, I think it's better than the biscuits. Wait. Did I tell you I was eating this because I was hungry? Oh, you're calling me a hungry person. No, 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 I didn't say that. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay? But I would like you to have a taste. Just, okay, take a bite. Please. Please. Come on, it's delicious, I promise. Please. Ram, don't talk to your sister like that. Uh -uh. And who made you the judge here? Or do you think it's this ordinary yam and eggs that will make up for the last years? Show some respect. I'm still your mother. You're still my mother? <laughs> hey. Do you even know what it means to be a mother? Do you even know what it means to be addressed as a mother? Zara. Shouldn't have left you know Shouldn't have walked away I've made so many wrong choices Zara, my you are such a betrayer So after everything that she did to us You still had the mind to eat from her pots, Abby? Really, Maya, really? You are such a fool, and I hope you don't eat something that will send you to your grave one Sarah, day. stop insulting me. Look, I was just hungry and I, I couldn't say no to her offer. By the way, she's our mother, so I have the right to eat her food. Our mother? Yes. Really? Where was she when you took your first step in life? Or even cried for the first time, or even smiled or waved? Look, I know. Where was she? I know she wasn't there, but can't you see she's trying to make up for all of that? How? Is it by giving you yam and eggs? Because I don't understand it. Maya, you're such a fool and I really, really pity you. 
Allow her to push you around. Are you hearing? Before. Are you still good now? Don't give him breathing space at all, at all. Mm -hmm. eh? You have to apply wisdom in every circumstances you find yourself beyond your control. Hmm. Before we go, we die here. No retreat, no surrender. My girl! Hey. <laughs> That's the spirit. Eh? That's the spirit. Ah, see, we have to do everything to eradicate that nemesis beyond everything we can do don't succumb did you hear me don't are you hearing me don't succumb if you succumb it shows that you've allowed yourself to be submerged hmm. minister of wrong grammar you don't come Colette. <laughs> 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 we are just me now i'm fine now what's up have you but that, that yellow dress is, is outdated and, and brown pants. You don't really expect me to wear that to my graduation party, do you? No, but seriously, everybody has that dress. It's all over social media. If I wear that dress now, my friends will make jest of me. I have to wear something that is unique and, and um, high quality, you know? I have to be the center of attraction that day. Center of attraction. I know I've heard you. You have to be the center of attraction, huh? Do you realize I spent a lot of money acquiring that dress for you? And you haven't even used it. Not even once. But Daddy, you know you're actually bigger than this. You're being petty right now. Oh, I see. Do you realize that if we do not cut down on our expenditure, we might as well go bankrupt? I'm sure that's not what you want, so... My advice... It's either you use the dress that you have, or you boycott your event. Or feel free to spend more time with daddy at home. Don't you forget to talk. I'm sorry. For what? For being rude. That's my girl. Come here. Alright darling, have fun, okay? <laughs> yeah, I watched my whole ministry. Baby girl, you need to see reasons with your father. All these things are superficial. Sarah, you were still a teenager. There is time for everything. At this age, your education should be of utmost importance to you, not fashion. See, when you're through with your education, hmm, you can do whatever you want to do. Wear whatever you want to wear. Nobody will disturb you. But for now, just Pay more attention to your education. Hmm? Please. Hmm. So much for a wonderful piece of advice from a mother. Quite timely. Thanks for nothing. Sarah, um... I saw them in the dirty laundry basket, so I decided to help out since I was less busy. I never asked for your help, okay? So learn to mind your business. I can do my own laundry by myself. 
And stop touching my personal belongings, please. Thank you. Um, sorry about that. Huh? Um, thank you so much. My laundry, my clothes, they have been giving me sleepless nights. Like, this week is our hand laundry week. Yes, we're not allowed to use the washing machine. It's okay. Um, please, don't tell my daddy about it. Don't tell anybody. No, no. You will scold me or you will increase my hand washing laundry week. No. You have no worries at once. Let me let me get your own things. Oh, my own is not with you. Yes. Alright, let's go together. We're just a moment. You know that's me. You're sad as you shut up your mouth. She's so adorable, isn't she? Yeah. How <clears throat> time flies. You can see that again. You know, I remember some years ago, Zara beat on herself in school. And the teacher spanked her. Somehow she sustained a little injury on her backside and um, you went on rampage when you saw it. Ran off to the school and gave the teacher her run for her life. <laughs> you know, after that incident you were tagged the tigress. <laughs> Man, I was so angry. Yeah. Like, who does that? Who flogs a toddler like that? You know, and the annoying part was, Zara actually told her she was pressed. She neglected her. Yeah. Not everyone is meant to be a teacher. You're right. Unfortunately, I... I don't have any of Maya's baby pictures, you know? I have no memories of her infanthood. But from the way they relate with each other, you can tell they are so fond of themselves. Oh, yes, they are. They are very, very fond of themselves. They love themselves so much. At some point, they were even wearing matching outfits, twinning here and there. They did that for a long time. Until one day, Zara walked up to me and said, Daddy? I can no longer wear matching outfits with my baby sister. And I'm like, okay, why is that? She said, Daddy, matching outfits are for kids. I am a big girl now. And she was just barely 10. <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> I told you. Oh my God. I so love This girl is something else. You know, they need to understand that there's more to life than material things. You know, that's what I've been trying to make Zara understand, but she wouldn't listen to me. She will. She will listen to you eventually, okay? She'll come around. Yeah, so. By the way, what has been happening to you? You seem to have changed. Change is a constant factor. And you know, when I look at Zara, I see a lot of myself in her. And I pray that she listens to the voice of warnings and not make the same mistakes that I made. I just... I just hope. She'll be fine. Auntie, what are you doing here? Talking to you, what are you doing here? Kayla, or whatever they call you, 
It is because of Ugo Naya will keep you quiet. If you try this nonsense again, what will happen? No, I want to try it. What will happen? Hey. Tell me what will happen. Hey, I'm trying to be peaceful. I am. Don't push your luck. Uh -huh. Don't push your luck. I don't want peace. I want you. I'm talking to you. I, what will you do? Leave this house. Go. Leave this place. Go to your house. You don't I'm belong to here. Be peaceful. Yeah, right. Don't push your luck. Uh -uh. What's going on here? She's not welcome here. Tell her to leave. Go, yes. Take the walk of shame. Hey, Go. No. What? What is wrong with you, Kara? What has come over you? Huh? When I leave this house, I expect you to take care of this house and not make a mess out of yourself. She disrespected me, and this is what you have to say. And so what? Must you behave like a mentally deranged person? Oh, no, you're not taking sides, huh? Of course not. I'm not taking sides. But you should take care of this house in my absence. Kara. Don't you ever do this again, please. I don't expect this from you, Kayla. Please, please. When I'm out of the house, I expect you to coordinate things here. Do not make a mess of things in this house anymore. I believe you should be asking this straight or that question. Don't ever use such words on your sister again. No matter what happens, you two are supposed to stick together. Because the same blood flows through your veins. Well, I don't think so anymore. Because this one now acts like a sadist. Eh? Oh, yeah. Don't ever use such words on your own sister. Hey, you this disrespectful child. If you ever insult me again in your life, I swear, you I cannot hurt me. You, you cannot do anything. Stop. What, stop. what are you going to do? Stop. Come and beat me now. Stop. Can't do anything. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Stop this. Stop this. Stop this. You stop. What's this? You cannot hurt a fly, you. Yes. Stop. What are you going to do to me? What? Be your worst. You can stop. We shall see. one of the best husbands one could ever wish for. My quest for material things caused me to lose you. And to tell you the truth, my experience over the last 10 years has taught me to appreciate family. And the first time I stepped into this house, I swore that I would get you back no matter what. Didn't you meet us here? If you so badly want to watch your program, go to your house now. That's a better option. I bet you don't have TV there. Is this your house? You to go to your own house? I don't blame you. I blame Ugona for letting you stay here in the first place. And it is only desperados like you that will shamelessly come into another woman's house to fight. I see you strutting around like, you know, you own the house. Is that what you think? If you think you own the house, break your news, darling. It is not yours. So if I were you, I would pack my things and go back to where I'm coming from. You nitwits. How dare you call me this? You disgrace of a woman. And if I do... What is going on here? I said, what is going on here? She asked this tribe standing in front of me. You had the infantry to disrespect Kayla in my own house? How dare you? I just want Oh, you shut up your filthy mouth! You just appeared for God knows where. From thin air, you think you can inconvenience Kayla and the kids in this house? Now, let me warn you. If you ever disrespect Kayla again in this house, you will see a side of me that you've never ever seen before.
Baby girl, are you okay? Kayla. What's the problem? Why are you sitting here all by yourself? I tried opening the door, but it wasn't opening. What about the kids? They went to the cinema to see a movie with Bella. I see. Let me have the key, let me, let me try. Kim, where are you? All right, please come down and open the door immediately. I'm outside. Oh, welcome. Okay, what the hell has come over you, huh? What gives you the authority, Kim, to lock Kayla out of my own house? Me, lock her out. I didn't know she was back now. I am done tolerating your excesses in these few days that you're staying here. You're beginning to cross the line and bite off more than you can chew. Go, Naya. I am the mother of your children. You should believe me. Oh, you shut your mouth before I shut it for you. Listen, this is the second time you are disrespecting Kayla and crossing the line. The next time this happens, I promise you I will trash you like garbage. Anyway. I just have a few days to leave my home and my life. Kayla, I'm so sorry. This is all my fault, I'm sorry. Please don't take it to heart, okay? Let's, let's go inside. Mm -hmm. Kayla. Kayla. But as it stands now, all I need is your forgiveness and that of the children. Ugo, I am sorry for all I did to you and the girls. And if I could turn back the hands of time, I swear I would do things differently. Please, find a space in your heart to forgive me. Kim, I have already forgiven you. You know, it's very, very important for one to have a mind of their own. You know, the tango that you've realized your mistakes, I've also realized mine as well. And I appreciate you for suggesting the one week 
request to stay at my place. It sort of provided clarity for everything, especially those unknown forces that were contributing to the grudges that you and I had against each other. One thing I need you to know is that you will always be the mother to our children and you'll always be till the very end. You are free to visit any day, any time. You have unlimited access to them. Uh, what is going on with you? Um, I uh, came, I mean I was coming down to make dinner, but in came beats me to it, so here we are. Hey, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? Have you lost your sense of reasoning? Excuse you? After everything she has done, you still have appetite to eat our food. Is it because I can't cook? Where is this coming from? Oh, I see. You still love her, don't you? And you still can't wait to have her in bed. Well, well, maybe I do, but not in the. What, wait, 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 wait. What did you just say? You know, I, I didn't mean it that way, okay? What I'm trying to say is, you know what? I just tell you the gospel truth, all right? These past few days have been the most confusing and difficult for me. In the past years, I, I, I went through a lot. A lot happened in my life, and eventually I decided to give a lot a chance, which is a good thing, of course. And that's when you came around. Yes, you, you've been good, you've been caring, you've been tolerant and to be very honest I give you that that's a very rare quality and I must commend you for it but there's also something that I want in a woman a woman that has a mind of her own Allow her to push you around. Are you hearing? Before. Are you still good now? Don't give him breathing space at all, at all. Mm -hmm. eh? You have to apply wisdom in every circumstances you find yourself beyond your control. Hmm. If I'm gone, we die here. Father, no retreat, no surrender. My girl! Hey. <laughs> That's the spirit. Eh? That's the spirit. Ah, see, we have to do everything to eradicate that nemesis beyond everything we can do don't succumb did you hear me don't are you hearing me don't succumb mm. if you succumb it shows that you've allowed yourself to be submerged hmm. minister of wrong grammar you don't come Collect. how have you been love should not be a competition love should be fair and smoke. Killer. That decision of you moving into my house for a week, it wasn't your decision. And it also wasn't a smart move. But you know, I let it happen anyway because I have nothing to hide. I don't have any skeleton in my cupboard. So what are you trying to say?
seven days is complete. Thank you for everything. I'll always come around, but not without informing you. Thank you once again. I did try so many times to get back on my feet but so many times I failed I failed again and again and then perhaps I wasn't strong enough so I gave up I got so comfortable with our situation and I was willing to just live my life that way. Even though you tried to push me to make me stand again, but I wasn't willing to rise to my feet. But I was too depressed. I was too frustrated. I was done with life. I, I saw no drive to stand on my feet again. And then, you left us. Now that I think about it, I don't really blame you. But when you left, I found a reason to fight again. Because I didn't want to lose you. I missed you so badly, so I kept fighting. And I fought so hard till I got to where I am today. Standing on my feet once again. That just sounds like you're trying to patronize me. You know, I just can't justify the fact that I left my children at such a tender age. I just wish, I wish they could forgive me. I want to do things right, you know. I just, I just want to hug them and tell them how much I love them and how sorry I am. If you hadn't left the children with me, then I would have had nothing to fight for. But the children being with me was the reason why I fought and stood on my feet again. They have forgiven you and they want to hug you too because they're here. It's not your fault. I should have thought about it thoroughly before taking my actions. Nevertheless, it's a lesson to me. A bitter one though. What can I do? Life goes on. Yes! Oh shit! That, that is daddy. That's my girl. This is my girl. Mm -hmm. Self-love activation till finito. 
Mm. What? What is it, please? Mm. I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. The father, the father of their father. My girl is back. <laughs> my girl, my girl is back. But now 